Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. It's time to look at another weekend of action from the world of racing. Whilst you watched the Singapore Grand Prix, there was also W Series, which also ran from Singapore, Nitro Rallycross from America, Super GT from Japan, and World Rally Championship from New Zealand. Not a whole lot to go through, but we'll go through all the main talking points just the same. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more motorsport content, and let's begin with the W Series. Jamie Chadwick had the opportunity to take the championship early in Singapore, but a poor qualifying saw her start down in 8th place behind the majority of her title rivals. So, some work to do. The race was pretty straightforward, not too much happened. Juju Noda was an early victim of a first lap squeeze, but other than that, very little overtaking until the last few minutes when Jamie Chadwick made a move and an error. She ended up in the wall. A rare mistake for the double champion and she was out. Safety car lined everyone up for a last lap dash, but no one got past Bytskavissa who took her first win since the second ever W Series race at Zolder over three years ago. And she is now second, 50 points behind Chadwick. I still can't imagine Chadwick losing this championship, but she may have to wait until the final weekend in Mexico, with just America in between. The World Rally Championship returned to New Zealand for the first time since 2012. Loeb won, if you're wondering. Kelly Wovenpera was looking to take the 2022 WRC crown at this event, and it was also his birthday. The Fords led early. Craig Breen and Gus Greensmith were performing very well, with Greensmith even taking a stage win. Then on day two, it went downhill. Craig Breen went off at a corner, made famous by Colin McRae. It took nearly 20 minutes to get him back on the road, and he was done. Gus Greensmith then destroyed his Ford with a massive crash. Luckily, both driver and co-driver were okay, but they were out. Elflin Evans also rolled his car, but continued, at least for a little while, but retired between stages, and Katsuta retired for the first time this season. Only the top five were WRC entries. Oliver Solbo got a good fifth behind Newville and Tanak, but the Hyundais lost out to the Toyotas, with Sebastian Ogier returning with a second, and Calais Rovampera taking the win and the championship. Another great result for the young Finn, the first Finnish champion since Marcus Gronholm 20 years ago. Two rounds left in Japan and Spain, but there were other interesting things going on in New Zealand. Firstly, Hayden Padden took the WRC2 win and finished 6th overall. It's nice to see him back in the spotlight. He took Hyundai's second ever WRC win in Argentina in 2016. His career never really panned out like it should, and it's good to see him perform so well at his home event. Also competing at his home event and making his WRC debut was our friend Shane Van Gisbergen. In an old spec WRC2 Skoda Fabia, Van Gisbergen took 3rd in class and 9th overall, meaning he has WRC points. Is there anything this man can't do? Nitro Rallycross also had a guest star in Jensen Button, who said he was jumping a car for the first time, although I'm pretty sure he jumped a car in Extreme E, but whatever. He lost his qualifying battle against Robin Larson, who got to the final, but lost to a returning Kevin Erickson. Fraser McConnell and Andreas Baccarud didn't even make it to the qualifying rounds, they both somehow had massive accidents at the same time. McConnell even ended up in a pond. Jensen Button was in the first heat, but he definitely struggled. I think he needs some more practice at this. Kevin Erickson ended that heat by rolling his car, adding to the list of very damaged rallycross cars from this weekend. In the second heat, it was his brother Ollie Erickson hitting the wall, but not as badly. Jensen Button looked a lot better in the last chance round, but lost out to teammate Ollie Bennett, who was making his first final this year. The final was good and Travis Pastrana won. Love an 8-car final. Nitro is a lot of fun. Next round is in a month. Finally, the penultimate round of Super GT, the 300 kilometers of Autopolis. Who was going to go into the final round of the championship in title contention? Well, after an uneventful round, Nobuharu Matsushita and Kudai Sukakoshi took the win and realistically it is between them and Bertrand Baguette and Kazuki Hiramine and championship leaders Katsumaza Chio and Mitsunori Takaboshi. Only four points between them and it will all be settled at Motegi in November. So that was all the action from the past weekend. Check out the madness of Nitro Rallycross free on YouTube 
so no reason not to. Everything else, well, the WRC was okay, I guess. Calais Robin Perra is champion. Jamie Chadwick, not quite. Next weekend, we have more Formula One from Japan. The final round of DTM, the final round of British Touring Cars, World Rallycross from Belgium, and the Bathurst 1000 from the Supercars. Can Van Gisbergen get even more praise? Find out next week. Subscribe to the channel, along with 600 other motorsport fanatics. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.